And now, let's meet our award-winning What's My Line panel. First, the popular columnist whose voice of Broadway appears in the New York Journal American and papers coast to coast, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. And we have a special treat in store for us tonight. On my left, sitting in for Steve Allen, is a bright, humorous young man who stars in his own CBS television show starting next Saturday night, Jack Parr. Thank you, Dorothy, and you never mention me in the column. <laughs> One down and nine to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, are you something, are you known for something other than your work in motion pictures, primarily? That's not a very good sentence, but... I don't understand that. I mean, are, are you famous for something other than motion pictures? I wasn't famous in pictures at all. Mrs. Mm -hmm. Wasn't I didn't famous in pictures at all. Jack, thank, thank you, you very, very much. much for coming thank to see you, us, and good luck thank Tuesday night. with my conscience all day. I have been attacked and will be attacked time. It's going to go on forever now. You might as well know it with, by the Hearst people, the Hearst Press. And it couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Because <laughs> it starts in the television columns and then it spreads to the Dorothy Kilgallen column. <laughs> and I finally, on the editorial page, you know, what, what's left for me? You know, Westbrook Pegler or the comics? You know, I don't know where to go from there. And so this is how it's going to be. I am opposed to purposely plotted risque material. I am more vehemently opposed to yellow journalism. Now, when you take a moral stand in your television column or on your front page and your editorial page and speak how moral you are and how religious your paper is, why then in heaven's name do you have your front page full of the Finch murder trial with red headlines this big, banners on all the trucks where all the kids can see it. And in these articles, going into the most, I think, obscene and personal matters that just don't belong on the front page of a reputable newspaper. Uh, I have talked about that kind of thing, and when I talked about it, I knew full well what my future was going to be. That's the way it has to be with me. Now, I've made a decision about what I'm going to do. And uh, only one person knows about this. It's Hugh Downs. My wife doesn't know it, but I'll be home in time and I'll tell her. I'm leaving The Tonight Show. There must be a better way of uh, making a living than this. There's a way of entertaining people without being constantly involved in some form of controversy, which is on me all the time. It's rough on my wife and child, and I don't need it. I like the National Broadcasting Company. They've been uh, swell to me, and I've been pretty wonderful to them. I took over a show with 60 stations. There's now 158. The show is sold out. It's the highest, I think, uh, money producer for this network and I believe I was let down by this network at a time when I could have used their help. You have been 
peachy to me always. Jack, I... You know what I said about Strange, the, the uh, pressure that there is constantly to boil something up like that. I don't know. Maybe uh, they try. If we want to do Why don't they get back to the function of the newspapers, which is to report the Finch murder trial? You know. <laughs> you know you know. Peter Zanger and Horace Rudy, this is what they meant, you know. Report them. Or, hey, we got Kilgallen off the front page there for three days. <laughs> Show. I've always thought she was a puppet. <laughs> you know, she never moves her lip when she talks. You never notice that. Novocaine lipstick, I'm sure. <laughs> now a message about this famous roll-on lip color. Lip quick. And here to bring you the message is one of my favorite girls, Betty White. Welcome, Betty White. Until next week, with a small word of thanks to Jack Parr for being a very excellent panelist, this is John Daly saying good night, Miss Dorothy. Good night, Jack. It was lots of fun having you. Thank you.